Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price. Two minute drill, Tennessee defeats Vanderbilt on senior day. Brent, it was never close. It was kind of a boring football game. Uh, I, I thought when- It was a fast football it game. It was a fast football game. I thought after the pick six by Theo Jackson, the subsequent failure on fourth down down here at the 13 yard line, it just kind of took a little steam out. It took a Tennessee, if they score there, the next time they went right down the field and scored, it'd have been 21 nothing and all she wrote. Yeah, I mean, certainly not getting it in in there with, after the long punt return. And, and again, I, I don't, Tennessee wasn't sharp in the first half. I mean, Hendon Hooker, five of 15, I think, 55 yards. It was just, it's just kind of a, eh. and, and you know what? Tennessee's not had a, uh, type game. And they did in the first half, and then they come out in the second half and obviously blitzed them twice in, in two quick possessions for 14 points. But again, I think the biggest takeaway for me is that this game was never in doubt. Tennessee never let it be in doubt. You know, and I think that's a credit to Tennessee the last two weeks. You know, there was no trap game, drop off game, or anything like that. It was go handle your business. Maybe it wasn't the prettiest, but Tennessee handled their business, which is a credit to the leadership of this football team. Uh, well, Tennessee plays, I thought about their C minus game, and they won this game easily. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, and I know Vanderbilt's not very good, but. It easily could have hung around and, and been a little closer, but Tennessee didn't let it stay close. They really were able to uh, do whatever they needed to when they needed to do it. And so um, Hendon Hooker, after the game, kind of noncommittal. He didn't go through senior day, though. I mean, like, I'm not saying he was going to make a decision before this game, but it sure feels like things are trending for him to be back at this point. Well, I, I think that Hendon Hooker's crazy if he doesn't go through the whole process. Sure, I would do. And, and see where we're at for a couple of reasons. One, if you want to see where you're at now, Two, you want to know what people say about you so you know what to work on if you do come back, yep. right? Um, I, I thought, ironically, one of his best throws of the day was a dump down to, to Princeton fans. Yeah, we that was a great play. Hit, we hadn't seen him hit a check down all year long. And uh, they, he throws a you know, check down for 20 yards or whatever it was. So I think you go through the process to see what everybody says about you and go from there. When you look at you know the rest of this team, Cedric Tillman continues to ball. First of all, since Joey Kent 95, to have, uh, was it six straight games with a, with a touchdown? I mean, kid just playing at a high level, goes over 100 yards again, and, and with a good bowl game, or actually just an average bowl game, should get to 1,000 on the year. Yeah, and I think the thing about him that he's showing to some scouts out there is he can do some stuff with the ball in his hand after he makes the catch. It's not just the 50-50 ball. I love the first touchdown. That was a play he couldn't have made two right. years ago. And, and so I think showing his athletic ability, um, seeing the field, making that first guy miss is something that everybody's going to take note of out there, and that's something that, that he's really grown. I thought it was interesting, Josh Heupel pointing out how terrific he could be a year from now, how explosive, how dynamic, <laughs> how great he could be a year from now, which is Josh Heupel's way of saying, come back, come back, come back, come back, because we need you to come back. And uh, if he comes back, obviously that the, the vibe is that he could have a huge year for Tennessee uh, with him and Hooker, him and Hendon Hooker here if they both decide to come back. From a recruiting standpoint, Nico Ia Maliava, well, the, well uh, done, well the, the done, the quarterback from California, but practicing all day, <laughs> um, you know, was in town. He and his family, his younger brother, who's a, who's a freshman quarterback there uh, in, in California. Uh, had a great time. Ta caught up with Eric Kane. We'll have a story coming up at VolQuest, uh, you know, in the coming hours. Th this is something where I think Tennessee really set themselves up for a return trip. I don't think he's doing anything until probably sometime next summer. His mom, uh, you know, has not been able to take these visits, um, you know, with the dad, um, you know, because she's battling some health stuff. But I think after the first of the year, she's going to be able to take visits. And I think she's going to be more involved after the first of the year. Certainly feels like a guy who wants to play football in the South. You know, oh, yeah, you know, 100%. Some of those California kids, the distance is a factor, and it kind of worries them. They want the big time. It certainly feels like they want to be in this Southern experience in terms of the intensity uh, of SEC football, kind of like a Casey Clawson was. It yeah. was a big deal for him. I think the other thing about this kid is just how big he is, Austin. Yeah. I mean, he is a large man playing quarterback. Well, and when he gets you know, in the college weight room and puts on some weight, you know, he's only going to be big because his dad's got a big frame on him, and Nico is the same. You got it? Yeah, Maliava. I like that. I like that. Tennessee had a nice little group of visitors here, though, to close things out. They did. Obviously, they did. you know, Christian Harrison was back. He stayed for a little bit, and then he headed back. He had some prior obligations in Atlanta. He'll decide on, on Monday. Um, still continue to feel like Tennessee's in a good spot there. Um, and, and, and then, you know, they, they did have, you know, you know, Carnell Tate was here, um, Michael Carraway, another JUCO DB, and, of course, Marquise Gilbert's here on his official visit. Yeah, so not a bad visit list for Tennessee to close out the regular season. Big time for recruiting to get cranked up next week as coaches hit the road. That's right. Nico Iamaliava. Oh.
You're so proud of it. Rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> Say it with me, GQ. Say it with me. Say it with conviction.